Hello, I'm Darren from Miro AI Studio, and today I'll show you step-by-step -step how to build flowcharts in Miro. Before we build, let's quickly go over the main symbols you'll see in any flowchart. Start end, shown as ovals or rounded rectangles, these mark the beginning and end points. Process, rectangles represent steps or actions in the process. Decision, diamonds indicate a decision point, like yes or no, true or false. Input, output. Parallelograms show data that enters or leaves the process. Connectors and arrows. Lines or arrows show the flow and relationships between steps. Knowing these symbols will make your diagrams easier to understand and faster to build. Let's put it all together. Open your Miro board or create a new one. On the left toolbar, you'll see the flowchart tool. If you don't see it right away, click on the plus icon and search for Diagramming Shapes to find it and select Flowchart. Start by placing your first shape on the canvas, usually the start symbol. To add the next step, click the arrow that appears when you select the shape in the direction you want to expand. It will automatically create a duplicate of the previous shape, but don't worry. You can easily change it by clicking on it and selecting Switch Type. You can also use keyboard shortcuts like S to create new shapes, or L to add connection lines. Make your flowchart easier to read by adding colors and icons to highlight key steps. Use different colors for decision points versus process steps. This makes it faster to scan. You can also adjust fonts and border styles to align everything with your brand or project. One of the best parts of Miro is how easy it is to collaborate. Invite teammates to the board to build out the flowchart together in real time. Use comments to ask questions or suggest changes. No more endless email threads or slides to track down. With just that, your flowchart is underway. But if you want an even easier way to create it, let Miro AI handle the heavy lifting. How to create a flowchart with Miro AI? Click Create with AI and choose Diagram or Mind Map, then select Flowchart. Enter a prompt like, Create a flowchart for onboarding new employees. Select text, stickies, or other widgets on the board as context to improve your prompt and make results even more relevant. Miro AI will generate a flowchart automatically with shapes and connections based on your prompt. You can edit it, add more steps, or rearrange sections to match your exact process. It's a perfect starting point. You can also ask Miro AI to adjust it by giving feedback in chat on how you want to improve it, or by fixing grammar, changing the tone, or translating it to other languages if necessary. How to download a flowchart in Miro. Once your flowchart is complete, you can share it as a PDF or image. Here is how. Go to the three dots in the top left corner and click Board, and then Export. Select Save as PDF or choose the format that works best for you. Miro will generate a file with your flowchart, ready to be included in reports, presentations, or shared directly with your team. How are you planning to use flowcharts in your work? Let us know in the comments. And if you want more Miro tutorials like this one, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.